Thanks, Steve. Chad Booth here. The Bryan Head area is known across the West as a premier skiing destination. But if all you know about the mountaintops outside Cedar City is the Black Diamond Slopes, you're missing out on some incredible adventures. It's always best to have a lot of options open when you're in the outdoors. And up here, there are more than you could possibly imagine. Today, I'm going in search of a few of them by snowmobile. Climbing on a sled and setting out from Bryant Head, it quickly becomes apparent that you have a lot of directions you can choose from. Much of the landscape is open to cross-country winter travel, and so you can pick your own route and meander as much as you want. You can take a more direct route through by following the trail system laid out by Utah State Parks, which will lead you on a journey that you might not stumble onto otherwise. We have over 100 miles of groomed snowmobile trails up on Cedar Mountain here. Uh, you can take off from Bryan Head right over to Duck Creek for the day and, and check out all of our trails. Nice groomed trails, off trail, terrific powder. It's been a great powder year for us and the whole mountain's pretty much open to, to snowmobiling off trail, on trail, just days of fun. The snow just keeps coming this year, so terrific snow year. Real soft, fluffy powder. And that powder can be found in plentiful drifts from one side of the mountain to the other. The quality is obvious as we weave through the trees, but a trip out of Bryan Head isn't just about the snow. Now that may sound strange from someone on the back of a snowmobile, but hear me out. As you follow the groomed trail system, which is actually a snow-covered highway, number 148 to be exact, you enter the Cedar Breaks National Monument, a three-mile-long amphitheater of red rock and sandstone that drops over 2,000 feet to the valley below. Normally, snowmobiling in a national monument would be a non-starter, but here, so long as you remain on the designated trails, you can explore this staggeringly beautiful landscape. The trails take you practically right to the edge of the monument itself, where you can gaze out on this pockmarked terrain of orange hoodoos and soft stone spires that have stood the test of time and the elements over the last several thousand years. Getting to the spot is easy, as Utah State Parks and Iron County have both tried to make the monument as accessible as possible. There's staging areas over by Bryan Head and in and around the community of Bryan Head, and then there's also a staging area just up Highway 14 where you top off on, on top of the plateau here. Once you've hit Cedar Breaks, the mountain opens up into other incredible views, some that look down at Cedar City, others that allow you to gaze out at the majesty of Zion National Park, and they're all within just a few miles of each other. That's one of the great things about the Cedar City area as a whole. Whether you're looking for striking overlooks or a day of excitement, nothing is out of reach to you. Cedar City is a great place to base out of. You can go down and play in the desert one day, and you can be up playing in the snow the next day. I've seen a lot of folks come in with toy haulers. Uh, they may have it full of uh, ATVs with a bike rack on the back and their fishing poles. Uh, so lots of different activities just right out of Cedar City. I was riding my mountain bike two days ago in the desert and I'm up here today on a snowmobile. It's just a great place to base out of. Plus, you have plenty of comfortable places to stay both in town and at the different Bryan Head Lodges. When it comes to adventure, the more options you have, the more fun you're going to discover. I guess that's why I enjoy this area in winter so much. I'd recommend coming out here in Cedar Mountain. Just the, the elevation, this great snow, friendly people, and all the amenities that are around here between Duck Creek and Brine Head and, and Cedar City. Come get some world-class snow. And, of course, I bring this up, if you want to eat on the trail, you can do that, too. Today, I brought out one of those muff pots that actually cook food right on the engine of your snowmobile while you ride. So, I'll be eating warm and hearty today. And it's another distinct experience you can have on a snowmobile adventure along Cedar Mountain. Well, this is a great way to travel. We will continue with our coverage of the Cedar Mountain or Cedar Breaks uh, trail system for snowmobiles. When we come back, it'll be time for our product review. Mm. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.